All right. All right. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. All right. This question is for you. It says, what would you like your reign to be remembered for if you become MBGN? As an advocate of early childhood education, it saddens me to see children walking on the streets. They are suffering, and I want to put smiles on their faces because I believe that an educated child is an investment for a nation. And don't forget, education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. I have an initiative and it's centered on promoting early childhood education because no matter what, these children are not meant to be left behind. So I want to leave a legacy. I want, them, I want to be remembered for being a queen for a purpose. Thank you. Thank you. That was amazing. I told you guys, we did well this year, didn't we? Now joining... Thank you. Thank you for that. Coming up on stage right now, I'd love to invite Miss Bauchi. You have to come this way, sweethearts. Come on. Amazing. How are you feeling tonight? I feel great, thank you. Nice one. All right, so Miss Bauchi, let us know what, in your opinion, what are the most effective ways to stay safe from coronavirus. Thank you. The COVID-19 virus has done a lot of, I would say, very accepting moments for us and also not accepting moments for us. And we say RIP to those who lost their life to COVID, as well as COVID-19 actually gave us a voice to relate to each other. COVID-19. Take a you know guys, calm down. You guys can't do that. Support her. Just let us know what are the most effective ways to stay safe during COVID-19. In your opinion. In my opinion, I feel we should distance ourselves. Wash our hands, always. I also feel that we should also sanitize our hands and use our fix mats every time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Give it up for Miss Bauchi. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Miss Abia. All right, your question says, a tourist is considering coming to Nigeria for a holiday. How do you convince him or her to come? First off, I would like to say Nigeria is a very blessed country. We have natural resources and great tourist sites that any tourist would want to come and visit. We are blessed with the most resourceful people. We are exotic and we have very kind people, kind-hearted people that will welcome them wholeheartedly. Nigeria is a great country to visit. This is what I'll tell any tourist looking to visit in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Abia. All right, we have Bayelsa and Abuja. Yes. Can I have Miss Bayelsa come up here, please? Thank you very much. Looking lovely and green. How are you feeling tonight? I'm fine. I'm fine. Very well. All right, so would you like to tell us what do you think or what would you say is the biggest industry of women today? And how would you advise ladies of all works to cash in on it? The biggest industry today, in my opinion, I strongly believe that women have the power to be whoever they want to be. I strongly believe that women can help themselves to be better in the society. I strongly believe that every young girl out there can be a better person in the society. My advocacy which is women empowerment, is strongly towards women being the best version of themselves. I strongly believe that as a lady, when you try to work hard, 
you consist towards working hard, you preserve towards working hard, you build yourself very well. Thank you very much for that question. Thank you very much, Ms. Bayelsa. A round of applause for her. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please let's welcome Ms. Abuja. How are you? I'm, I'm very well, thank you. All right. The question says, in empowering women today, can you share an area you think women need to be empowered? Thank you for that question. I believe women are strong, and when we put our minds to something, that we can achieve whatever we set our minds to. Now, I would love to empower women in the healthcare field. As a nurse, I think it is imperative that I continue to help women to grow on the path in the healthcare. Healthcare is one of the most important sectors in every single country. And if women are more represented there, then we have lower cases of black women, especially feeling like their, their values are negated when they're trying to give birth, example. So I would love to empower women in healthcare, and I would love to be a role model to women that want to be in healthcare. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. All right. Miss Abuja, Bobby. Miss Abuja, yeah. She almost took your mic and just kept going on. I'd love to empower you, Bobby, to wear a bow tie next time. When we come on stage, <laughs> I'd love to empower you. To, you know, amazing stuff, guys. Oh, they all gave brilliant answers. They did. They did. A round of applause for our top five again. We told you this year we're not playing. It's beauty, brains, they have everything. And for all our judges, we feel sorry for you. In a good way. It seems like their job just got more difficult. It did. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for our top five. As they take a bow off the stage, the next time they will be gracing the stage, we will be announcing our winner. Yes. And in the same breath, let us... Help us through this phase. Ladies and gentlemen, please kindly make a welcome the president of Silverbed Group, Mr. Guy Murray Bruce. Hi, Uncle Guy. Bobby, thank you very much for this microphone. And let me go over to the other lady here. <laughs> I must say, both of you look good as a couple, but I know you're not a couple. He wishes. He does. We're on accidents. <laughs> Bad accidents. Bad one. <laughs> so, okay, congratulations. Thank you very much for what you've done so far. Thank Bobby, you. thank you once again. Um, I'd like to call on stage um, Juliet Hagerman. While she's coming on stage, let me thank our major sponsors, the Silverbed Group. The Colonnades Hotel. Please give a round of applause, please. The Colonnades Hotels. They hosted the girls for a good 10 days. Lush Hair. Please give a round of applause. They have so much hair backstage. I don't know. Winner is going to take home so much hair, too. And Miss Lush has hair to last a lifetime. Dilly Motors. Have you seen that beautiful car? Echo Hotel and Suites. Danny, thank you very much. Oh, I see Juliet over there. I'd like to use, also use this opportunity to thank um, the founder of Silverbed Group. Um, this started as a dream in 1986 for a pageant. Mr. Ben, Senator Ben Murray Bruce. Please stand up and give him a round of applause. He started the pageant, and in the year 1992, I took over. But I promised him one thing. I said at the time, when, on the handover speech, I said I will make a difference. And in 2001, I made a difference. We were crowned a Miss World. I can tell the kind of student he was in school. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> the fourth runner-up of the title, most beautiful girl in Nigeria, Miss Ekowas, goes to Miss Bauchi. Third runner-up, MBTM Tourism, goes to Bayelsa. Second runner-up of a new title, we have Miss Supranational Nigeria goes to Miss Abia. Um, I would like to have the Gili representatives on stage, please. Because they won't have time to present the winner with the car key. This is an unusual key. Let me thank, let me thank our judges for a wonderful job. Please give them a round of applause. They worked tirelessly on Thursday at the pre-judging to come up with some of these results. And now they're here again tonight. I must thank them, especially Mrs. Ali. I heard you wanted tea and I looked around. How do I get tea in this place? Danny. <laughs> My dear Ralph. So when I announce the winner, Ralph will announce Ralph of Gili would give the key to the winner, but that's after I announce the r r winner and the runner-up. Can I have a number and Abuja step forward, please? Before I announce the results, I'd like to know, let the runner-up know that in the event the queen cannot fulfill her role as, as the new queen, the first runner-up takes over. Is that understood? Yeah, they always say yes. The winner of tonight's competition, Miss World Nigeria, goes to no other than the favorite here, Miss Abuja. Stand up for the champions, for the champions. And Miss Universe Nigeria is Anambra. Stand up. Stand Congratulations. Up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stand up. Stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up.
to make a presentation real quick to the winner Ralph okay just a second please everybody good evening everyone it's been such an exceptional evening with such wonderful beauties and personalities. My name is Ralph Haidar. They also call me Obioma. I have a Nigerian name. I'm very proud of that. Yes. I'm the national brand manager of Mikano International Motors Division. And I would like to share with you a little insight on our GD brand. GD International, the shareholder and the owner of Volvo Sweden, London, UK, uh, London Taxi UK, sorry, and the biggest shareholder of Daimler Mercedes Group Germany chose Mikano as a partner for a reason. Geely wanted to have a Nigerian partner with integrity and credibility to make sure its products and customers are in safe hands. That company is Mikano International Limited, one of Nigeria's foremost solution providers in Nigeria and West Africa as well, who coincidentally was looking for a reputable automotive group that could provide